today's video is going to be a quick one to show you an activity that we did today with my special needs preschooler working on counting to 10. This activity comes from my pre-K summer review activity books. This is the book numbers to 10. And in here we have tracing where he can trace his numbers and all of that. What we worked on today is once you get to this section back here, it's counting and finding the number. So, for example, on this page, and I printed these out on like bright colored paper, so if it's a little more difficult to see, I apologize. Uh, I used these, I paired this up with some of our number manipulatives. This is just like a little um, toy cookie monster thing, and it has numbers on it. And what he had to do is he had to, oh, you're going to get a number? He had to count, so he would count how many seashells she has, one, two, three, four. Then he had to grab the number four and place it in the square. And so an, another thing we also did is we have like little manipulatives and then he would use those and he would count out four. So after he did four, then he would take his manipulatives and he would count out one, two, three, four. It was really kind of fun. Kind of fun. Uh, so then we would put that one back and we would go to the next page. On this page, she's got a watermelon. So all of the pictures have to do with summer. And there are one, two seeds. So he had to find the two and place it on. So this one's cute. It's a little scuba diver and he's got his bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then he would have to find the number ten and place it in the square. Now these numbers are really cute. You can use this with magnetic numbers, um, which you can get really cheap. You can get magnetic numbers at the dollar store. So it uh, doesn't have to be something like this. Uh, we, I just have this available, so we used it. And this is really cute. There's just a whole bunch of them. They can keep going and counting and doing the numbers. And then this section, it gives them a number and then they have to find the watermelons that have the three on them and circle them or mark them. So like this one has three and this one has three and this one has three. Or, for example, let's do the number four. So with this one, instead of using the, instead of using the marker and having them circle, because at this age, a lot of them can't circle. They can't use, they don't have that well fine motor skills. You can use little toys and you can, like these are pom-poms with magnets attached and you can mark your answers or you can even, if they like Play-Doh, you can have them mark their answers with the Play-Doh. So they look and they look at each of the pieces of watermelon and then the ones that have a four, they can just put a piece of Play-Doh on. So that one has four and this one has four. Okay, so that's kind of a fun way to do it. Again, you could also use your little toys. So I've got my pom-poms and I could put them, put a pom-pom on each one. He loves these things. So that's another way to do it. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that really quick because we had a lot of fun with that today. You might enjoy these pre-K summer review activity books. I have some for math and some are for reading, like for phonics, and they work on alphabet and the letters. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link below to those. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I know this was a really quick one. We'll see you next time. Bye.